All right. Um, I've been saying I was gonna do this for a while, so um, at least I thought I have. I'm pretty sure I mentioned it like a month or so ago. But um, yeah, this is going to be a playthrough of Ace Attorney or Phoenix Rice Ace Attorney Dual Destinies. Uh, don't know how often I'm gonna tr I'm gonna try to upload this and try to do all the parts, unlike. The first Phoenix Wright game, which I stopped at episode 5, which was a, uh, which was a, uh, a spare episode, but it, it wasn't one of my favorite episodes, let's just put it that way. I didn't like that episode too much. It seemed to drag on forever, but, um, yeah, this game I've been waiting for for a little while now, and still waiting for, uh, Professor Layton versus Ace Attorney, so, yeah. <laughs> and I I would actually be wanting to play Pokemon right now a little more, breeding and all that, but I want to see how this game goes, so, yeah. And also, sorry for no background, but uh, haven't thought of one yet, or too lazy to make one, so. <laughs> Unless someone can think of one, but, pfft. Um... I know there's DLC for costumes, because I saw that on the eShop, but otherwise, uh, it brought me to the game. That's why it wasn't wrapped up or anything. <laughs> so, let's start the new game. Oh, no! There's a bomb! Run! Apparently it's in 3D. I can watch this in 3D too. These are dark times where the law has been reduced to rubble and it's up to us to restore it to its former glory yeah i know what you mean it looks like your target finally decided to make a move is that phoenix's voice don't you worry i've got a trusty new partner on board i would have thought his voice would have been a little higher Why do you remind me of someone from a certain game? Yeah, it's for this very reason I returned. Time to bring it to an end. I feel like I'm watching a movie right now. <laughs> Episode 1, Turnabout Countdown.
<laughs> the best thing about the bombs is how they erase and destroy without discretion. <laughs> Now, all I have to do is pin everything on that little girl. Hmm, <laughs> reminds me of like the first Phoenix Wright game. Where you know who it is, but yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Fine, I won't play the game in 3D. Hmm. Nope. Not feeling nervous at all. It's amazing what a girl can get used to. Even a tense atmosphere like this is no biggie. Are you doing okay, Athena? Who said that? Oh, okay. Oh! Apollo! It, yeah, doing great. Like, I'm a little too great. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Well, that's good to hear. Although... I could have sworn I heard your voice crack for a second there. Look at my smirk. Ugh. I'm that transparent, huh? Cracking? No! My voice isn't cracking! Nerves of steel here, I tell you! <laughs> This is Apollo Justice. He's from the last game. That was like how long ago? <laughs> He's a fellow lawyer at the office I work for. Apollo is the lead for the defense on this case. But I'm going to be there at the bench with him, doing what I can to help out. I'll do whatever it takes to defend Junie. Speaking of steel, how are you holding up? That explosion really did a number on you. I'm happy that you're okay, Athena. Although, I can't pretend I have no connection to this case. That's why I'm gonna see to, to it that Ju Juniper? Thinking of something else. That Juniper's name is cleared. And I'm sure you feel much the same way. You got that right. I won't rest until Junie is completely cleared of all suspicion. Apollo. Thena. Oh, that's her. I can't tell who question marks are by just question marks. Thank you for doing this for me. Junie! When I look at you, I think Sunflower Girl for some reason. Yeah, that's why. <laughs> hey, are you okay? I didn't even see the sunflowers that good on her top of her hat. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. I always seem to go into coughing fits whenever I get nervous. By the way, I never played the demo, so just kind of clearing that up. This kind of thing happens <coughs> at home in the forest, though. <coughs> this is Juniper Woods. She's my dear, dear childhood friend, and she's also our client for this case. The news keeps repeating that Junie is the alleged bomber. But that's ridiculous. There's no way Junie would do anything like that. I mean, look at her. Does she look like she could make a bomb? No. I brought you a little snack, Athena. Just a little something from my garden. Hey, thanks. So, um, is this an orange or a tangerine? It's an orange. My grandma says... That our orange is the color of strength and endurance. Oh, I get it. Strength for the trial, right? Junie, 
You're always so good to me. Jeez, look at me, standing here clutching an orange to my chest with tears in my eyes. <laughs> well, don't you worry. We'll be so powerful in there. They won't know what hit them. Right, Apollo? Yeah, that's right. Come what may, this is one trial. We just can't lose. Uh. Are you okay, Apollo? What? Apollo! Ugh. Blood is seeping through his bandages. One of his wounds must have reopened. All this time, he was trying to put on a brave face. But he was really overdoing it. Mr. Justice! Huh? The trial is about to start, sir. Please proceed to the courtroom. What? Now? But Apollo's in no state to defend. <sighs> I... I have to... Defend Juniper! What are we going to do? The trial's about to start, with or without us. There's only one other option I can think of at a time like this. Phoenix? But even if I called him now, he'd never get here in time. No. Wait. There's something else I can do. Wait. Are you trying to pull a Phoenix, Athena? And, like, you know how I call her Maya, but I know everyone calls it's pronounced Mia. You know how uh, she was the mentor to Phoenix and Phoenix was the assistant, sort of? Is she trying to pull that? Huh? What are you gonna do? Bailiff! Y yes, miss? The defense would like to submit a substitution of attorney petition. Fina! You're not seriously. You just concentrate on getting better. I'll defend Junie. All by yourself? Athena, stop for a sec and think about what you're saying. You've never once taken a case on a loan before, right? No a problem. I can handle it. I think. But I guess it's really up to you, Junie. Would you be okay with me taking over? Um, uh, sure. I, I, I believe in you, Fina. And that's enough for me. <coughs> uh, this would be me too. Yeah, this would be me right now. You're worried for me, aren't you? To be honest, I'm pretty nervous too. I think my heart might just burst out of my chest. But you're in no shape to stand at the bench now. So you'll just have to leave it to me. I need a, ba a bandana. Are you sweating? <laughs> All right. I can see your mind's made up anyway. I hate it that I can't be there. But I know you'll just give your utmost to defend Juniper. You bet I will. Rest assured of that. I'm playing as a girl. You get to hear my girl voice most of the time. My name is Athena Sykes. Sykes? Psych! I'm st 
still just a newbie? But I'm a lawyer, you... are? I thought you were just like, the helper or something. Kinda like, uh... Mayo was, or... yeah. This is... only the second time I've taken the lead in a defense case. It'll be the first time I stand up there alone, though. But I have to do this. And I'm definitely not about to let anything happen, bad happen, to Junie. You can count on it! <clears throat> I remember when that used to go faster. <laughs> Day one, court is now in session. All rise! Court is now in session for the trial of Juniper Woods. The, the defense is ready, Your Honor. The prosecution is also ready, Your Honor. <laughs> uh-huh. Uh, yeah, and what is the meaning of this? Since when did you grow hair again? That's what the me- That's what- I'm wondering what the meaning of is. I was under the impression that Mr. Red Monkey would be my opponent today. <laughs> yes. Well, a substitution of attorney petition was submitted just a few minutes, moments ago. Due to the explosion in the courthouse yesterday, Mr. Justice is unable to continue. I see, I see. <laughs> not at all, not at all. Surprised he used that as an excuse to run away. <laughs> Look at my hair. With me as an, that an adversary, who wouldn't want to feign illness in order to escape? <laughs> what? The nerve of that guy! I'm going to give him a piece of my mind! I'm going to crush him! Well... Yeah... I would if I wasn't so nervous. <laughs> uh, uh, this arrogant jerk! Who said that? N no Widget! Is my hearing getting worse? I could have just sworn I heard the defense say something just now. N no! You didn't hear anything at all. Especially not from me. Nope, nothing at all. <laughs> hmm. How odd. I could have sworn I also heard something. Oh, that would be my indispensable partner, Widget, right here. He sometimes blurts out what I'm thinking. <laughs> well then, if that's the case, then it's clear. It's a clear contradiction in what you just stated. A contradiction? You just stated that you said nothing. Oh, shut up. This is not part of the case. OBJECTION! This has nothing to do with the trial. Can we get on with it already? However, if that device says what you're thinking... Seriously? Then indeed... Said I was. What was it? What? What? Heep! Actually, it was arrogant jerk. At any rate, what does it matter if it's a red monkey, or a yellow monkey facing me, or even a blue monkey with spiky hair? <laughs> no fresh out of law school rookie can defend this witness, not with my hair. Mr. Payne, I believe that's enough. This has nothing to do with the trial. Let us back to the case, shall we? Of course, your honor. How foolish of me. 
You go all right on ahead. <laughs> I'm more than ready to show this little girl what they call me. Why they call me the Rookie Humiliator. <laughs> Weren't you humiliated by a rookie in the first game? I knew it. He really is an arrogant jerk. Arrogant jerk! <laughs> Miss Sykes, if you continue to insult the prosecution, I will have you... What's the word I'm looking for? Whatever! I will remove you from this court! <laughs> I'm very sorry. It was just a knee-jerk reaction. Now then, Mr. Payne. Thinking it's exempt of court or something like that. You all know what I'm talking about. It's whenever it was second case of. It was one of the first case. One of the uh, cases in the first game. Anyways, now then, Mr. Payne, your opening statement, if you please. Thank you, Your Honor. Now then. The incident occurred yesterday here at this very courtroom, in courtroom number four. They did a lot of quick repairing, if that's true. At that time, the trial for a certain bombing was being held in the court in courtroom number four. I ah yes, I was pres. Excuse me. The heck. I was presiding over the, that trial as well, and Mr. Justice was there as the lawyer for the defense. A bomb that was being presented as evidence suddenly went off during the trial. It was a terrible incident, and a courtroom number four was completely destroyed. Unfortunately, we were able to start evacuation procedures before the explosion occurred. Just a few seconds more, and it would have turned into a horrific loss of human life. But there was, in fact, one death. Was there not? That is correct, Your Honor. When courtroom number four was examined after the blast, the body of Detective Candace Arm was discovered. She was to take the stand as a witness later in the trial. I suppose she wasn't able to evacuate in time. What a terrible tragedy indeed. I must admit, I stumbled at least ten times myself before I was able to escape. Maybe the court should be seeing... should see to getting you even shorter robes? <laughs> the victim's body was found near the entrance to the courtroom. I suspect she stayed until the very end to help guide the others out safely. That's what I would say, too. I mean, she was a top, probably a top, uh, detective, so she was trying to get everyone out, and she was the last one in the courtroom, and so... Your Honor, allow me to submit as evidence the victim's autopsy report, and details about the bomb. Ooh, typing sounds. Alright, sounds good. Whoa! Stuffed animal bomb. The time bomb that destroyed the courtroom. It was hidden inside a stuffed animal when it was detonated. In a guilty stuffed animal. Okay. I know how this works. All evidence for the trial is filed in the court record, which is located right here? Oh! No, that's the... That's the past dialogue. Cool, okay. And what's this? Is this the save function? Wow, there's two save files. More than one. <laughs> Where's the 
report record. Oh, there it is. Okay, right there. When I want to check something out, just touch the court record button. Or the R button. I'd better take a peek later. Or now. See? I should show this as my... As evidence. Okay. Okay. Sounds good to me. Now then, please call the accused to the witness stand. Defendant, are you feeling all right? You're looking a bit pale. Oh my god, my eyes! They look very weird in 3D when he's stunned. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I was feeling a bit weak when I first arrived here at the courtroom. <laughs> but I... I'm all right. Junie's really giving it her all. I'd better make sure I do the same. <laughs> if we could please proceed. Your name and occupation, defendant. Juniper Woods. I'm a, a high school student. Miss Woods, can you confirm you were in the courthouse on the day in question? Yes, I came to know Apollo Justice through my friend Thena. <laughs> and so, I was there yesterday to watch this trial and lend my support. That, I don't know whether to feel creeped out by that face or feel sad. Something's wrong. Junie's really scared. <laughs> Did you know I'm also known as the Defendant Humiliator? <laughs> Seriously, shut up. That's the first time I've heard that. I've never heard you've been called that. Like, were you called that in the fourth game? I can't remember that game, but I know you weren't called that in the other three games. Looks like I have yet another chance to show everyone how I earned that moniker. <laughs> With my hair. Gah, does his arrogance know no bounds? I have to protect Junie, no matter what. Hey, you arrogant jer- Uh, Prosecutor Payne! Hmm, what is it? Do you want to demonstrate why I'm no- Shut up! Seriously. Shut up. Just shut up. Deep breaths, Athena. Don't let them get to you. P Prosecutor Payne! Junie is telling the truth. Mr. Justice also backed up her claim when he saw- when we saw him in the defendant lobby. And Junie- he said that he was glad to get the lotus fruit you gave him, too. He was? My grandma says lotus fruit is good for your eyes. She says they can even help you see into the future. Okay. Let's, let's not talk about uh, that kind of stuff. They can? Then that's the perfect present for a lawyer. And if that's true, I guess he must not have edit eaten them. <laughs> hmm. A sweet, neat girl like this? Blowing up a courtroom to bits? I must say, this is very hard to believe. Objection! Objection! <laughs> that... that... Objection sound. He does not sound like that in the other games. If you if you look at my first playthrough or the first parts when he says objection, he goes objection like that. He don't do it like that. Are you like Pain the second or something? 
Prosecutor Payne Jr. <laughs> now, now, your honor, don't let her seemingly innocent appearance fool you. The defendant had a motive for committing this crime. Seriously? Th that's not true. I don't have any kind of motive. And I, I didn't even know the lady who was killed. I admit the investigation didn't turn up any connection between the victim and the defendant. However, that doesn't matter. Seriously, it doesn't matter that a high schooler killed a detective. Ooh. And they had no connection. It's like, she didn't know him. Ah. <laughs> the only thing that does is that her objective was the destruction of courtroom number four itself. So he's saying she had something against the courtroom. Whatever floats your boat. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? Why in the world would Miss Woods want to do that? Mm-hmm. That's a very good question coming from a novice such as yourself. <laughs> But first, a question for the defendant. Have you ever been brought up on a f on false charges? What? W why? Yes. Yes, I have. And did that experience cause you to harbor a grudge against the court system? Now wait just one second. If that kind of thing was a motive for blowing things up, then every one of our clients would turn into bombers. She does have a good point. <laughs> that is a very valid point. We wouldn't have a single courthouse left standing in the land. I can see that I... The accused isn't the only one who might bear resentment against the courts. But Miss Woods is the only person who could have committed this crime. Seriously? Are you just... are you just... or are you just saying that? Why? Because we have found some decisive evidence that proves the defendant's guilt. Oh, really? I would like to see this. Decisive evidence, please. Decisive, huh? I'll believe it when I see it. It involves a very unique aspect of the bomb itself, Your Honor. And what exactly was so unique about it? Hmm. Why don't we have Miss Sykes over there? Answer that question! Huh? M me Mm-hmm. I noticed that you appear to be very nervous. And, well, gentlemen, that I am. I'd like to offer you a chance to gain some confidence with such an easy question. Could he be any more condescending? Really? What a thoroughly unpleasant man. Alice for- Alice for loser! <laughs> I should probably think of a, a computerized voice or something. Huff! What did it just say? Nothing. Not a single thing. <laughs> um, now let's see. What was I supposed to do at a time like this? Oh, I know. The court record. The information I need is somewhere in the court record. All right, Miss Sykes. Let's hear your answer. What was unique about the bomb that blew up in the courtroom? Was it because it was... 
We already know. We already looked at this. It was a stuffed animal bomb. So, inside the stuff. Yes, it was inside the judge's pocket. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> Mr. Payne, what kind of simpleton do you think do you, do you take me for? It was a stuffed animal. It was stuffed inside a stuffed animal. It's evil intentions covered up by a cute exterior that... That was an evil elephant with horns and mean eyes and red and had guilty on it. Yes, that is very cute. <laughs> very good. Have a cookie. <laughs> the bomb that went off in the courtroom was indeed hidden inside a stuffed animal. There. How do you like that? Not bad, huh? I am just like I said I was from the start. I can't... Wait, I said that wrong. I am fine. Just like I said I was from the start. I can do this. Yes. As I recall, the bomb was stuffed inside a stuffed animal the whole time. I never even got to take a look at it. But what connection does this impish elephant have with the defendant? The answer to that question lies in another piece of evidence, which I have right here. And what, pray tell, is this? It appears to be a little singed. It's a tale, your honor. The tale of a poor victim of the explosion. This is incredible! Are you saying it's the detective arm's tail? Your honor is so very close, but no, it belongs to the stuffed animal. It's called the Phony Fanty. A rather unpleasant name, if you ask me. He's the mascot for a campaign to eliminate false evidence and false charges, is he not? Exactly! His motto is, phony evidence is just trunked up! Is that supposed to be, uh, uh... <laughs> Really? That's so wrong on so many levels. <laughs> the phony Fanty's tail is made of a vinyl cloth. And we found something very interesting on its surface. The defendant's fingertips! Whoa. Whoa. What?! The phony fan, t the phony fanty provided the prosecution w with all the evidence we needed. It clearly proves that the accused handled the bomb. Are you sure? I mean, maybe that's a uh, that's a different phony fanty. I mean, there's more than one, right? I uh. Eep. Meanwhile, yeah. But that doesn't make any sense. Why would Junie's fingerprints be on it? Hmm. That does appear to be pretty in irrefutable evidence. The court accepts it into evidence. But, 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 get this. What if that is indeed phony evidence? Ooh, plot twist. Miss Woods, do you have an explanation for this? I... I don't understand. I... <laughs> How about you, Miss Sykes? 
do you have any plausible explanation to refute this decisive piece of evidence? Well, I, uh... I can't do it! I can't think of a single thing! But I'd better come up with something for Junie's sake! If you can't produce an answer, we could always go straight to the ruling, if you prefer. <laughs> no, I have to do something. I have to say something fast. Oh, oh no. I can't get my voice to work. Why now, of all times? Backstory. I thought I overcame this already. Maybe I'm still not ready to t stand in court. As you can see, there is no room for debate. OBJECTION! Why, it's you! Oh great, if it is the blue monkey! <laughs> Sorry if it took me so long to get here, Athena. Apollo explained the whole thing to me over the phone. He asked me to come help you out in his place. Thanks for coming. I hate to admit it, but I was having a real rough time on my own. Oh, I don't know. I think you were doing just fine, all things considered. And you hung in there, giving me time to get here. Now let's turn things around. You got it, boss. Ho oh, ho ho! Look who just showed up out of the blue! And his blue suit! <laughs> if it isn't Mr. Phoenix Wright, you always manage to surprise me! <laughs> oh man. Your Honor! Mr. Payne has called for an early ruling! But I believe there are still many things that need to be deliberated! How did Miss Wood's fingerprints wind up on the stuffed animal's tail? How was the bomb even detonated? Until these questions are answered, I assert it's impossible for a fair ruling to be made! You are absolutely right. Let us continue from where we left off. I assume you have no objections, Mr. Payne? <laughs> None at all. Your Honor. Miss Woods really looks like she's having a hard time. Junie's really struggling, Mr. Wright. I get the sense she's afraid of the courtroom itself. Because of yesterday? Yeah. It was understandably very traumatic for her. Poor thing. And here she is, back at the courthouse again, being so brave. I'd like to make a request, Your Honor. If at all possible, I'd like to have Miss Woods rest in the lobby. Hmm. Given the defendant's condition. Very well. I grant special permission. You go get some rest, Junie, and leave the rest to us. Okay. Thank you. Sorry about this.
Phoenix Wright. I've been looking forward to meeting you. It's been a while, Mr. Payne. <laughs> You're more clueless than I'd heard. I do believe, believe you mean, how do you do? For I am Gaspin Payne. Gaspin Payne? Are you gasping for fa You're for pain, man? <laughs> what? <laughs> I am the younger brother of your long-standing rival, Winston Payne. Right, his name was Winston. Oh, okay, that explains everything. That explains so much. Holy crap. Well, guess what? I have news for you. Gasp and pain. Um, I'm gonna knock the hair right out of your hair, or I'm gonna right knock the hair right out of your head, like uh, like your brother. <laughs> but um, that will have to wait until the next episode because uh, I'm gonna stop it right here for right now. It's been like what over 40 minutes, and yeah, I think this is a good first part. So <laughs> with that, hope you all enjoyed, and I will catch you all next time. And just to just so you can see. There you go. Saving right there. So, hope you all enjoyed the first episode. Learned a lot. And, uh, Phoenix is stepping up now. So, with that, have a great day, and I'll catch you all next time.